What is up everybody, Kyle here, and back with another episode, well not an episode, I guess a series I'm, well, you know what, I'm just gonna say, I'm a big fan of fighting games, I've always have been, ever since I was just a little, just a little kid in short pants, I, I remember playing all kind, all the Tekkens, like one through, well, one through five mostly. I fell off mostly after that, but I remember playing with my dad a lot and my cousins, and we used to just, you know, get salty at each other about that. And I kind of fell off the fighting game scene for a long time. And to be honest, I've always wanted to get back in, but it's so intimidating nowadays. Like, I started playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and I'm just now getting someone decent. And I mean, I bought Ultra Street Fighter. Because, I mean, I was, as soon as I saw Ultra, Street, um, excuse me, Street Fighter 4, 5, the trailer for that, I was like, just done, done. I have to, I have to get good at Ultra. Like, that, I mean, I was hesitant at first, but I was like, okay, gotta do it. It's, 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 it's going to be my life goal to get good at Ultra. But, the thing is, I have a dilemma. I am not a very good fighting game player, nor am I a competitive player, simply I don't even know if I can call it recreationally because granted I just kind of just flat out suck a lot of times um, I've only been playing for a couple weeks and I'll just say I've been getting bodied pretty hard um, favorite character is Makota so yeah I'm still not the greatest but I'm just trying to basically learn the basics I'm learning every time I get salty but that doesn't always deter me and you know what? I was watching Maximilian. I mean, if Max, if you hear this, I mean, I'm coming for you, man. As soon as I get good, I'm coming for you. One of these days. But no, nah, man, I look up to you a lot, and I mean, just all the fighting game, Team Spooky, all those. And I mean, I just, I just, I really want to get good, and I know it's difficult. It's like any other thing. It's just practice, 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 and resilience. You gotta, you can't give up, and. You know what, I just wanted to make this, since I've started this channel, like with my other friends, like the Council of Cadets, I mean, we're still going to do that, and we're still going to keep heading to the top of the charts, but along with this, I, this is something I kind of wanted to do for myself, and I just wanted to, sh like, anybody who's, like, hesitant of just picking up the latest fighting game, like Tekken 7, uh, when that does come out, Killer Instinct, uh, Street Fighter V, um, Ultra Street Fighter when it does come to PS4. Basically anybody who's like thought about oh man I want, I want to get into these games but it's like God it's so freaking scary. I mean what am I going to do? I don't know any of the controls and just, just shit like that. And I made this specifically for those people. The, the people who like basically they get whooped on mercifully and the thing is that's part of the I mean that's part of the whole process you have to get beat and you're gonna get beat a lot I mean a lot there's gonna be 50 60 times where you might not win an entire game and it's gonna be frustrating as hell and you're gonna wanna fucking throw the game through the wall but guess what you can't do that so I'm in the same boat as you and I've won a few matches so far, but I think it might have been based on dumb luck as opposed to just me getting better. But I am getting, I do notice not so much the moves, but I'm getting better at observing reads, uh, which moves are safe and not safe. And you know what, this, I mean, this series I'm doing, just fighting games in general, um, yeah, I'm just going to keep doing this. I mean, Ultra Street Fighter, I mean, I'm going to go through a lot of the characters, like Nakoda's my absolute favorite, hands down, she's my wife and for life. Like, I'm committed to her, like, for now and forever. She will forever be mine. Um, her short hair is amazing, as well as her Juto and Karate. Um, but yeah, I'm going to just go through here with other characters, too. And I'm damn sure not going to be learning. I mean, I'm just gonna, you're going to be watching me, and you can either cheer me on, um, leave your comments, or basically point and laugh and say how disgustingly, hor disgustingly horrific I am at this game. But whatever it be, I'm gonna keep marching on, and damn it, I might not win every single time, but I'm gonna just hang in there, and hopefully you guys got my back too. So, I guess for right now, let's just get started on one of these matches. Um, just going online to some simple matches. Uh, just getting the train right now. 
Let's see. Uh, let's just get into the network guy. My bad. That was the wrong setting. Wrong setting. Let's go. And of course, we got to start with Makota. Let's see. Let's just get into some ranked matches. Listen some quick. And I mean, like I said, I just jumped into, I mean, I did some practicing. I jumped into online pretty much the first day I bought the game. And I got destroyed. I mean, literally. But it took, I mean, just a hundred different times just to get the different reads and everything. Huh, that's weird. It just took, anyway, it took lots and lots of time just to get good at the different reads. And I still haven't seen or met every single character. Oh, that's weird. My connection doesn't seem to work. Well, that's never any good. So, let's see if we can find something else. Let's see if we just can't go into training and find a battle that way. That seems to be the easiest way. That seems to be the only way I've been able to find a match so far. Just do a little bit of training and go into a match that way. Alright. Stand in your stupid fist. Oh, so the, I mean, this training is basically just dick around. Um, I, like I said, I've been using Makoto. She's my absolute favorite. Um, she's very limited, as most, I guess, Street Fighter aficionados would know. Limited to certain move ranges. Um, she's very, very vulnerable against projectiles. Um, I mean, just that's going insane. So if you're against like Ryu or Ken or I mean, just Guile or Evil Ryu, I mean, basically you got your work cut out for you. But there is a way where there's a will, there's a relative. You can find a way around it. It's just a matter of letting your opponent see. I mean, you you don't want to ever be. You want to be hungry. You want to go in. You want to pressure. But then again, you don't want to be too hungry and forget about basically defense because that was a big thing for me is defense 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 i mean that's my biggest flaw I mean, basically every fighting game i want to get in i want to do those huge like 120 hit com or 120 200 hit combos but um especially like marvel or something but that's just not how it works and I, it, it took me a while, especially street fighter because this is not a game about basically getting a big combo this is about precision reads uh, picking and prodding at your opponent and finding out basically where's the best opening and where basically in the midst of action you, it's it's mind games it's really a lot of that I mean, it's faking at your opponent um, I still haven't got good with the ultra cancel there are a lot of a lot a lot a lot of things I still have to learn but every match is I mean it's just a new experience and I'll say this too, it helps to have a really good, like, fight stick. Um, I'll be honest, mine is like, I think I bought it, what, about four or five years ago from a local game store, and it's not even that cat. I mean, I'll have to, like, show. So, as you can see, this is my fight stick. It's, I guess, by professional standards, a little jank. It's not fancy by any means necessary, but hey, gets the job done. You make do with what you got. It's the struggle out of you, you know? I think I paid 40, 50 bucks for it. So, yeah. So, you can still do good with a fight stick or controller, regardless. Back to the show. Like what it actually looks like, but it's. I think I spent 40 bucks on it at the most. And, well, yeah. It, so it's not the greatest. It works. I'd love to have a Mad Cats. Um, like basically, I mean, Japanese made fight stick or the one that Ultra released with the. Um, basically, with the game. But it's the struggle out here. And so we can't always have everything we want, regardless. So. You got, sometimes you really just gotta make do, and this is like basically you can play with a controller and you can play with what you have. Oh look, gonna take long. And you can play with a controller and you can play with a stick. Um, I mean, really, whatever you have, you can make it work to the best. 
I mean, what you can possibly do. Um, yeah, so, I mean, the, the, anyone who uses a controller or anything, don't get discouraged if you don't learn right away. It's just as hard with a stick. Um, it's learning the game all over again. And I found out that I'm actually better with a stick, a fight stick in Street Fighter, um, as opposed to Ultra Marvel vs. Capcom. The, I actually use a controller when I play that game. Um, for some weird reason, I am only seem to work good with um, a controller with that game. I tried using the stick, and I just I didn't have any real success. Most of my wins came majorly from controllers. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, everyone has their different quirks like that. So you just got to learn which one works best, and you just got to go with it and fine-tune it. Because you can always win. It's just a matter of, like I said, the resilience. That's the key. All right, Chun Li, your kicks are strong, but I have karate. All right, can't get too hungry though. Remember what I said: you line up ice, and she throws me. Great. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, gotta watch that. Gotta do it at the same time. And I'm sure there are people screaming at me. Yep, gotta watch that. Figure. Okay. And overhead. Okay, we're not done yet. See, she's waiting for me. And I can't believe I actually landed that. Wow! Got super lucky. I still got a chance. Yep, and she woke up with a spinning bird kick. And that's what happens when you get too greedy. So I came back there for a minute, but... Just got It's like I said. Even when your opponent's on their last leg, you still you always got to respect them. You cannot just go in willy nilly. You have to respect them. See, even then, like I said, and it's not necessarily the strongest move. It's which move gets out first. That's a big, big factor. Oh, God. Chun Li, your kicks. Oh. And I didn't mean to do that. That came out completely wrong. Yep. And I think that's dead. Yep. So it's just like basically, yeah, I got whooped. I mean, I didn't get bodied super bad like I usually did, but... It's just like the little things you have to notice, when it, especially when it comes to defense. You gotta, you gotta watch the overhead. Um, this game is really good with fake, fake outs. That's the thing. You, you're, you think your opponent's gonna cross you out, and you're ready for it, but then they actually stay in front, and that's been killing me. Um, majority of the games, but I mean, it's just something you have to learn to expect. And a lot of the characters, like like Blanca with his um, directional and uh, Gokin, those guys. You just have to be aware, and it's just something you come from just lots and lots of games. Jeez, I don't know how long I'm going to make this video either. No, but I, I, they're not going to be technically long videos, maybe 15 minutes at the most. Um, if I do go a bit longer, then it's just because I'm not being very observant. And I just need to... And, um... Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, for anybody, I guess, who is a, a fish in a street fighter... Um, Please, I mean, I'd love to hear your comments, just anything, especially about characters I'm using, like Makota. Um, any tips you have about her, I'd love to hear it. And just, I mean, we all would as a community. I mean, because that's where we're here to support each other. I mean, we got to help each other. We're all trying to get, I mean, we all want a piece of pie. So we just got to learn how to help each other. We got each other back. All right. I think this might be the last match I'm going to call this video to an end. So let's see how we can do against God, Sonic Boom. He's got sonic booms and flash kicks. Army man versus Karate Kid. Makoto, your short hair is so hot. And your neck scarf, which looks to be tied way too tight. That might be a reason why I'm losing. It's just, <coughs> she can't breathe. It's choking. Uh, we, we got blackout. See? See, I was expecting the flash kick, but he gets the sonic boom. See? 
Good crossover, see? Ah, and he woke up with a flash kick. That's when he happens when you get too bad. Ah, and see, I didn't necessarily know what to wake up with there because I was afraid of the flash kick. I didn't know whether to jump or to crouch low. Okay, so I got him with that. And that chop takes too long. I wanted to use the karate chop on him. But it just takes too long to get out. See, and that's a big one. Got to get out of the corner. And my chop low is too slow. Yeah, and I tried to use my ultra and just didn't get out fast enough. I don't <sighs> Unfortunately, what happened that game is just poor defense. I was trying to feel like if I could pressure him, I could get some of the heat off, but unfortunately, God will open up. Just can't do that. So, like I said, it's another loss, but hey, we're gonna keep grinding. We're gonna keep grinding. Max, I'm not quitting. Max, you need to be my coach. Like, in my, like Rocky, just spitting in my face is like, you don't need to get good. Get less salty. And just this flowing golden mane, just the sweat trickling off of it. So, all right, for now, I guess we'll hang here with Metal Zagief and just, I don't know. Ah, take on our aggression on this Metal Cyborg's dick. All right, for now, laters.